When you build an AI application using Gen AI, what are the components and how do they speak with each other? Let's lay out a flow with user request to a sample application. Let's say a user asks a question, how do I fix my microwave? The large language model responds with a generic answer based on its training data. But let's say you don't want a generic answer. You use RAG to make this response rich for your users who you know are looking for your specific brand powered by your product manual and documentation. The first thing you do is take your internal knowledge, your product manuals, your documentation, everything related and create embeddings. I have a video on what embeddings are, which I will link here. Now, in order to create embeddings, you chunk the data into smaller units. The text data might be chunked by paragraphs or documents, while the code data could be chunked by functions or modules. Now, each chunk of data is then converted into a vector representation or embeddings and are stored in a vector database. Now, embeddings capture the semantic meaning of that data in multidimensional space. Similar chunks will have vector representation that is closer to each other in that space. Now, the embeddings allow the system to compare the meaning of the query with the meaning of the chunked data, rather than relying on exact keyword matches. Storing embeddings in a dedicated database allows for faster retrieval compared to traditional relational databases, which are not optimized for vector data. Now, when the user asks the question about fixing the microwave, the query is transformed into embeddings by first chunking the query and then creating vector representation of that query. Now, the vector representing the query is then compared with the embeddings that are stored in the vector database. And the nearest match from there is then used to send the large language model and then the LLM compares the responses, uses full or part of that match to embeddings and then finally generates the response for the user, ensuring that it's not only comprehensive based on the LLM's knowledge, but also accurate and enriched by the retrieved information from your knowledge base. And that is how you architect Gen AI applications. If you like this video and the series, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow for more such content. Thank you.